Today I'm going to be talking about my two parrots. Um, I have a sun conure and a Senegal parrot. And the Senegal parrot's name is... Where are you going? The Senegal parrot's name is Rumi. And he is five months old. And here is my sun conure. Good timing, Coco. Coco and Coco is six months old. So the reason why I'm making this video is because when I was looking to purchase parrots, I really didn't have a lot of resources. Um, there was people making videos about parrots, the sun, uh, sun conures individually, the Senegal parrots individually. However, there was no direct comparison videos that were available for me. Now, um, these two parrots are definitely not comparable. Uh, but I'm going to try my best. They're two very different parrots, but there are some similarities and overall parrots are are uh, birds, different species. Each species has their own set of general characteristics. Each bird, however, has their own characteristic as well. So that's important to understand. So I'm going to get right into it. Uh, I first got Coco. Coco is my... Son Conyer again. I got Coco when he was about seven weeks old. So he was purchased from a breeder in Toronto and he was being hand fed. Parrot formula or baby parrot formula and um, using a syringe. And I continued to do that up until he was, let's say, about four months. I was trying to cut it back and st start feeding him his pellets, which he was eating before, along with fruits and and uh, vegetables, but he really preferred having his his uh, his you know his parrot baby food uh, through syringe. Um, I don't know if you guys notice he's biting. He's just it doesn't hurt. He's just nipping a little bit, um, but it doesn't hurt at all. They're both sort of just exploring. Um, when they're together at close proximity, they both sort of get nervous and uh, start biting a bit. Doesn't hurt at all though. So anyways, um, Coco was weaned off of his syringe, I like to call it, at about four months. And I got Roombi here when he was um, around, let's say, three months old. Um, I also got him from a breeder in Toronto and he was already weaned off of his, um, he was already weaned onto pellets and fresh fruits and vegetables. So he was very low maintenance. Um, overall, I'm going to start off with talking about the two uh, parrot species lifespan. So sun conures can live up to 25 to 30 years in captivity. In the wild, that number is about 15 to 20 years. Senegal's, or Senegal parrots can live up to 30 to 50 years in captivity. And in the wild, I think the number is closer to 30 years. Uh, personality wise, you can tell both of them are pretty active. Uh, in general though, Roombi is a lot more, um, a lot more calmer, I'd say. Um, likes to sort of sit on, on the shoulder and, and doesn't really mind sitting there for, for long periods of time. Whereas Coco right now is on the floor, sort of just exploring. Um, I'm going to try to get him up here again. Uh, personality, um, if I had to describe it in one word, Coco would be the explorer or clown. Whereas Roombi here would be the calm collective type who's a little bit vocal right now. Uh, Coco here is a native of South America whereas Rumi is a native of Africa. Uh, speech and sound, Coco by far wins the award there. He is very loud. Um, he screeches and um, when he was a young little little bird, little baby, still is a baby by the way, he uh, didn't make a lot of noise but you know, as time went on, he started uh, adopting his natural behaviors. At nighttime, when they were doing their their call before bedtime, 
Um, he is quite loud. Rumbi, on the other hand, is, I'm going to say he is loud as well. He's moderate. He's uh, one of the more quiet parrot species. But he's, they're all, they're, they're both parrots. They, uh, that's how they communicate. Um, and they're loud. Um, I just wanted to also touch upon size. So for the most part, Coco is not going to grow any bigger than this. He's sort of regurgitating food. <laughs> uh, Rumbi is also full grown. He's not going to grow much, much larger than what he is right now. When you compare the two, come here, come here. Um, that's Rumbi. And this is, Coco got, has his, there we go. So those are the two. It's not in focus, I know, but here's Rumbi. That's Coco. And um, that's probably the size they're going to be. Coco is a lot more fluff. Rumi doesn't fluff as much for me. Um, I want to talk about three important things. Talking. Parrots don't really talk. They, uh, oh, oh, there's some fighting going on there. Okay, okay. He didn't do anything to you. Um, yeah, so they don't really like each other. Um, they have two, two separate cages. Um, parrots don't really talk. They mimic. And um, if you keep on saying the same thing over and over again, they will, they will uh, talk or they'll copy you. Um, another thing I want to talk about is poop training. Um, initially, I started to poop train uh, Coco. He was pretty good at it, but the, the more I kept him in the, in the cage, I started noticing that he would hold his poop uh, until he came out. And I didn't want that because... They're small to begin with, and if they're, if they're holding their poop, um, that can become quite dangerous for them. Uh, finally, I want to talk about um, the differences among the genders. So, I don't know what they are. Uh, I was told when I bought them, they're too young at that time anyways, but I was told that they look like they are both males. Um, Species-wise, they're both, um, they're not dimorphic, meaning the males and females, for the most part, look pretty much the same. Like I said, Rumbi is about, um, he's not biting me. He's just nibbling and doing his thing. Um, he's about five months. The coloration in his eyes will turn lighter. And, um, but for the most part, everything else will stay the same. Come here, let's show them. Let's show them. There's a lot of different things. Coco would never do that, and um, but for the most part, they, they let you do everything. Um, they're uh, very tame. And this is Coco. I'm gonna just bring him up close again. This Coco here. Coco lets you do. Oh, he's in a bitey mood today. Oh, there goes uh, Rumbi at my ear. So I hope you guys uh, learned a little bit from this video. Um, I know it's not much detail, but I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys just to to show the, the you know the the basic difference between the two. Um, as you can see, Rumi is a little bit more chatty when he is out of the cage. Coco is a lot more quiet, but once they're in the cage, um, things change and Coco starts going crazy. <laughs> they don't like being in the cage. Parrots uh, should uh, should be let out of the cage. Parrots should have. Um, some interaction and um, at least two hours of interaction a day. Um, I do have a full-time job. I don't stay at home, uh, but when I am home, I like to spend some time with them, uh, whether it's cleaning their, their food bowl or uh, cleaning their cage. I do let them out, fly around. They are not clipped. They do fly. And um, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, uh, Please feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, please subscribe to this this channel. Um, I'm not going to always be putting videos out about my parrots. I'm going to have a lot of different videos out. I'm still trying to um, figure out what this channel is for. But yeah, that's it. See you guys.